Hello everybody, this is Agent B13 and welcome to another episode of Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. Last episode, we went, were back up in Peach's castle and we told Bowser the things we hated. We then went back into Tubble Blubber's castle to uh, do some of the secret stuff that uh, we didn't do when we were in there because for whatever reason I forgot and we missed. And we then went and defeated Junior Trooper who we saw yet again. And then we reached here, the Shy Guys Toy Box, where the next Star Spirit's being held. Yep, we did a lot last episode. In actually quite a short period of time. Anyway, this episode we're going to be starting the Shy Guys Toy Box. And seeing what on earth they are doing, Shy Guys. So first of all, you want to head this way. And there's going to be new enemies, which will... Oh. Uh, beat. Come on, stupid shy guy. There we go. First strike. Uh, we're gonna tattle on the shy guy. So this is standard shy guy. They come in different colours, but yeah. Max XP is 7, attacks 2, defence is 0. And this is a good chance for me to demonstrate the sheer power of Star Storm because we can literally kill these guys now. And this can just hurry things along. There we go. They've been immediately killed. And nine star points just for that. Not bad. So get our coins and stuff. And you can see there's a guy called, and he's called Anti Guy. And he's guarding a treasure chest to a badge. So he's like an optional boss. But we're not going to fight him yet because, uh, because we need to get some uh, stuff uh, to be able to to be able to kill him because he's quite tough. Well, very tough actually. So. We need to prepare for that a bit more before we go do that. And uh, between this and next episode, I'm going to get some uh, Wacker Bumps from Mount Rugged, which is going to help us do that. So, uh, what you want to do is sneak along here, um, get whatever's in this box, coin, and go through here, uh, where you're going to see Shy Guys with some of the things from Toad Town. So... Uh, you got a cake mix here, which we can get. If I can get it. It's not essential, but yeah. Oh. There we go. That was tough. Uh, we do... The only thing we actually need in here is a calculator. Which we're going to get in a minute, but I just thought I'd show you this cake mix. I don't know why. Now gonna get the shy guy that's holding the calculator. Uh, so he dropped the cake mix that he was holding. Um, we now need to get the calculator when I find it. And there it is. And he's gonna try and hide but I managed to get into the encounter that we needed. So, we're basically going to do the exact same series of attacks we did last time. Kill that one. Ha 
that's all we needed to do in that room. So now we've got the calculator which we need. Well, actually, you don't actually need it, but yeah, it's useful. A lot of people actually don't like this chapter because you have to go back and forth between, like, Toad Town and stuff, giving people their uh, things back, but I, I like this chapter, actually. I think it's one of the better ones. I'm just switching back to Goombario because we've got new enemies coming up, which will be through here. And as you can see, Cammy Cooper's arrived. And what she's going to do, she's going to put the things down uh, that we uh, said that Mario hated in Peach's Castle. So she's going to put the mushroom down because we chose that. But if he chose any of the enemies, she's going to spawn them in. <laughs> Perfect. Mario hates this thing. So he'll scarcely turn back. Surely, sorry. Uh, I think that doesn't look like the sort of thing that I that bother Mario. Wonder if I should really trust what Pete says. Well, it doesn't matter. King Bowser had ordered it, and he's the boss. Right. So uh, that's all we need from that. I'm gonna sneak behind here. Oh, I've got a, to encounter. Oh well. No, oh, not enough star points. Oh well. <laughs> Might as well keep Kumbario out because there are new enemies coming up. Let's do a quake hammer to hopefully finish this off. Kill one of them, anyway. There we go. Shy guys are pretty easy to take out, but there are some more difficult enemies coming up soon. So, yeah, don't get too carried away thinking that this is easy. Oh, and those things there are like boxes. You can either hammer them or jump, spin jump on them. I'm going to hammer them because it's quicker. And we're now going to head down to the right. Go behind here. And there's a star piece behind there, uh, which you want to get. And then through here on the next one. Uh, what you need to do, uh, that bit there you can't get over, or around, sorry. What you want to do is come inside here, jump up here. Oh, why did I do that? Never mind. And I believe there's another uh, star piece or something across here, so I'm going to get Paro Carry out. Yeah, there is star piece there. We're gonna head back over over here now, and to the right. And down here, uh, where we can get a coin. And around here, and switch back to Goombario. And we get a free mushroom. There we go. And in this chest you'll get the storeroom key. Uh, which you can use to get into the storeroom in the Toad Town shop. And we need that. That is compulsory. I'm just going to get this uh, item block here. Get another coin from that. And we can be on our way. Uh, we're going to head back to Toad Town now. After I've tattled on this new enemy called a balloon guy, I think it is. Well. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, they have the same stats as a normal shy guy, but... If you pop the balloons, they'll fall back down. So, 
going to jump on this guy. And have I got enough FP for a star storm? No. I'm still miles off. Um, yeah, we'll jump on this. And he's gonna fall down and get stunned. Kind of. Right, let's um, knock him down as well. It does actually do damage if you do that as well, so that's good. Quake hammer now. Kill that one. Wow, I'm actually getting low on health, but it's all right. And we're gonna kill that final shy guy now. Nearly. This is why I don't like using Goombario. Things take forever. Oh, how did that miss? Oh, it must have been because of the close call. That's why. Right, that one's dead. Nine star points for that awfully long battle. Oh my word. Right, now we're going to head back out of the toy box and uh, do the things we need to do. Uh, first of all, we're going to go back to... No, we're not yet. We will be going to the Toad House, but not right now. We're going to head through this door. Actually, we will go to the Toad House because... Wait, no, we won't. I don't know what I'm saying. Right, we'll go to Ralph first, then the Toad House, then... Um what you call it um the storeroom in the shop we need to do a shy guy just stole dad's calculator you should have heard what dad said we can't open now stupid shy guy give back dad's calculator right let's uh, talk to the dad sorry bud i had to close up shop some idiot shy guy stole my calculator you believe that I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius when I find that little punk. Right, we can give him back the calculator. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the Shy Guys? Yeah, ram in your face, Shy Guy. I can open my shop again. Oh, man, how can I repay you? I'll uh, take this. This is a special badge, you, but you should use it with care. And we get the I Spy badge, which lets us see hidden panels in the floor. Dad says we should go out of business if we hadn't oh, gotten that calculator back. We can open the shop again, all because of you. Thank you, mister. Right, that's done. Now what we can do is head into the Toad House. to the toad. Go to sleep. And back out. And we are now going to head down. Right. 
And we're going to go to the storeroom now, which is in the shop. If you go this shop, and uh, you go to the storeroom there. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. And here's the storeroom, so we put the key in here. Ahem, uh, Mario, please don't open the storeroom without my permission, alright? Huh? Hey, you got back my storeroom key. Oh, thank you, thank you. You saved my business. Right. Tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's sort of a little thank you for getting my storeroom key back. Right, so... Uh, what we need to do, we can get all of these things, so the snowman doll, which is useful. And we're going to get rid of... Yeah, we'll get rid of the cake mix. I don't even know why I got that. Here's a vault shroom. And we'll get rid of the honey syrup. And here's the train, toy train, which we need. And there's the dizzy doll, which we won't bother getting. No, we won't bother getting that. We can get those items back later if we wanted. Anyway. No, I don't want that. Alright, let me get back to the toy box. So what you need to do with the toy train is... I'll show you now. Head through this door back to the toy box. And what you want to do is you don't want to go into the toy box. A lot of people get confused with this bit and they go to the toy box uh, where the train station is and they put down the train there, but he's not going to let you do that. What you want to do is be stood outside the toy box and put the train in here. And that's going to uh, put it back on the track inside. So basically, there's different stations. Uh, we're at the blue at the moment, and uh, that's going to allow us to go to the next station, which we need to go to to progress through the chapter, basically. Uh, so what you want to do is step on this button here, and actually it's the pink station, sorry. And, we'll... and then talk to him. And the pink station. There we go. We're leaving. And yeah, you can skip this if you want. I'll press A now. It's just going to show an animation like the um, like the Mount Rugged one, but we've seen that one anyway. So that one's not any more exciting. Anyway, what we need to do now is head to the right through here. And Cammy Cooper's going to place the next item that we said we hated, which is the Thunder Rage. And we can carry on going now. And we got some more of these blocks again. And that's going to spring us up onto here. Now, what you want to do before you go that way is head left because there's something really important we need to get. Uh, and we'll probably get attacked. Well, I got first strike. So, that was good. And well, we got new enemies, you can see. Uh, but first, we are going to bring his balloons down. Maybe not, because I attacked that one. Our two new enemies. Right. I'm going to tattle on the Medi guy. Uh, max HP 7, attacks 1, defense is 0, but he can heal other enemies, so you want to take him out first. And that guy can make you dizzy, I think, but I, do I dodged it. So, uh, we're going to do a power jump. Yes, we are. And that'll kill him. Uh, we'll now tattle on this guy, who's the groove guy. My 
attacks, HP is 7, attacks 2, defense 0, but he can make you uh, uh, dizzy or whatever it is. And he can spawn new shy guys. And he's gonna call in someone else. Oh, not a medi guy. Oh, these guys are a pain to beat. Right, let's uh, pop this guy's balloons. And attack the medi guy. And he's gonna heal that one. That's why you wanna take out the medi guys. And no, he's gonna do that. Right, let's take out the medi guy. This is where shy guys start getting powerful, as you can see. Right, let's do a star storm. Oh no, we can't. Right. Star Stone time to take these guys out for good. I don't know why I didn't do that first, but oh well. We'll get more XP. And there we go. 15 star points, wow. Right, now we want to head over left and go in this chest and we will get the defense plus badge okay this isn't the badge i thought it was but the badge is coming up very soon let's have this and i think that's all the enemies for now so switch back to bow now what you want to do on this bit is you want to head over to here you're going to see a shy guy, you then want to head back uh, to this door here and go through when he arrives at it, like that, and then head all the way back here, get this block, get the coin, and get, ah, I think this is the chest we need, or maybe not, let me see. There we go, that's the badge we need, the Ice Power Badge. Now this is really helpful and pretty much essential in the next chapter. Uh, basically what it does, it attacks enemies with Ice Power and and against fire enemies it means your attack goes up by, against them by two and also fire enemies would hurt you if you jumped on them normally but uh, if you got that on then it won't. And here's the Thunder Rage. Where we're gonna get rid of the dizzy dial and open up this to get the frying pan which needs to give back to tasty and she will bake cakes now when you give her that back and yeah oh it's this way let's head back through here Good, I didn't get into encounter with him. And what am I doing? <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm gonna do this. There we go. I just, there's no way to avoid that guy. <laughs> right. Or at least there's not a pyro guy or whatever. No, not a pyro guy. That's later on, but you know what I mean. Let's uh, jump on the medi guy. Kill him. Wow, I'm getting hurt again. Right, let's uh, 
jump on that guy's balloon. And smack him. There we go. Well, I've got three HP left. Right, what we can do is use a... Quake Hammer to kill him, and then finish him off with Bow. There we go. Dead. And we're going to level up soon, which is even better. Right, now I just need to not get attacked. There we go. And that is how it's done. So guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be finishing off the pink station. Uh, we're going to also give taste to your frying pan back. And we're also going to fight Anti Guy, who, if you saw the beginning of the video, is back at Blue Station. Because uh, I'm going to head to Mount Rugged and get some Wacker Bumps. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all then. Bye.